Hello everyone, this is Professor Robert Solis and welcome to this video lesson. We're going to be talking about how to create a square calculator project using Visual Basic. So let's switch over to Visual Basic and you see that I've already created the square calculator program. I should have said project, I think. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up the toolbox and I'm going to drag a button, label, and a text box to the form. Let me go ahead and minimize the toolbox. I'm going to move the label to the upper left hand corner. And what I'll do over here is I'll change the text property by opening up the properties panel. And the text property should say enter aside colon. And, um, oh, actually, you know, I selected the button. Sorry about that. What I meant to do is select the label. Okay, so this should say enter aside colon. There we go. Then I can move this text box next to it. Like this, I'm going to have that magenta underlined so that the text is aligned with this label. And then I think I'll clear, uh, move this button over here. Let me resize this to approximately something like that. And then I'll say calculate for the text property. And then we want to place a label down here. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this label. I'll need to change the auto size to false, border style to fix 3D. Then I could go ahead and resize this, and I want to be able to have two lines of text, um, and they're both going to be centered. So let me go ahead and change the text align property to middle center. And what I want to do is I want to say area equals, and then whatever the area is, and then perimeter equals, and then again, whatever the perimeter is. We'll place that in, within the label. Okay, so let me go ahead and close this form, reduce its size. Let's take away the minimize and maximize box. So we'll double click on minimize and maximize box to make those properties false. And in terms of the, the text property for the form, instead of form one, let's say square area and perimeter calculator. Okay, so it looks like it's a little bit too much text here. Uh, let me go ahead and open this up and about right there. Okay, so I think what I'll need to do is I'll just make everything a little bit longer. Something like this. That way we can fill up the entire form and I can maintain that title. All right, now initially that text box is not supposed to have anything in it, so I'm going to double click on the text property, delete, press enter. All right, let's go ahead and give names to the various items here. So this is going to be TXT and we'll just simply call it side. This button, we're going to call this btn calculate. And then this label, let me make this a little bit bigger. Here we go. This label we're going to call LBL result. All right. Let's go ahead and save our work. And now we can begin the program by double clicking on the calculate button. So I double click on the calculate button. I'm going to minimize the properties panel. We start off with four comments declarations get user input, calculation, output. Okay, well in terms of the declarations, the first thing you have to ask yourself is what are the items that will be input, what are the items that will be output? Well we're going to obtain the side value, so that's something that we input. We're going to output the perimeter and we're going to output the area. So side, area, and perimeter. Okay, so dim side, as double, dim area as double, dim perimeter as double. And the reason why I declared them as doubles is because I want them to be able to contain a real number, a number with a decimal point. So that's the only reason why I created those as doubles. Let's get the user input. In other words, let's get the data that was typed into here, which is a number, but this is a text box that holds text. So side is going to be assigned convert dot to double whatever is inside of the text box. So I type txt. Notice that txt side comes in. I can just hit tab dot te for text. And that's it. So that's the item that I get from the user. Well, now I can go ahead and do some calculations. Namely, I can determine what the perimeter is. And if I go back over here to my PowerPoint presentation, you'll see that uh, for a square, if you take four times the side, that gives it the perimeter. So the perimeter is this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. Or in other words, four times a side. Whereas the area is equal to side squared. So side times side, that's what the area is going to be. 
Okay, so let's switch over back to Visual Studio. And for the area, that's going to equal to um, side squared. So I can just simply use the math.pow function. Say side, comma, 2.0 is the exponent. So this is the base, this is the exponent, so side squared. In terms of the perimeter, that's equal to 4 times whatever the side is. Okay, so now that I have the area and the perimeter solved, I can go ahead and output the results to the label. So we'll say label or LBL result.txt, and I have to convert this to a string. And I'll say, um, well, actually, let me, let me do this. I think on the example that I gave before in class, I had something like this, area equals, and then I'll use the concatenation operator. Then I'll do convert dot to string whatever the area is. Okay, so what this will do is it'll display within this label, it'll display area with the equal symbol, and then it'll concatenate, that's what that is, the concatenation operator, it'll concatenate whatever the area is. It's going to convert that to a string and connect it to this. Well, then I want to go to the beginning of the next line. And so how do I do that? So we'll say concatenation operator VB new line. So this goes to the beginning of the next line. Again, another concatenation operator. And I want to say perimeter. So perimeter equals space, quote. And I'll simply convert to string whatever the perimeter is. Enter. Okay, so let me make sure I explain what's going on here. This indicates that you have to read it from right to left. So all of this stuff, oops, I don't want to drag that, all of this stuff is about to be placed into the text property of this label. In other words, all this stuff over here is going to be placed into here. Now, how is it going to be placed into there? This is one line right here of text. VB new line means the cursor is going to go to the beginning of the next line, and then this will be the second line. What is the first line? Take the area and concatenate that with area equals, that string. What's the second line going to look like? Take the perimeter, concatenate that with this text or with the string that says perimeter equals. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to run the program. And let's say that I enter a side of 2. So I type in the number 2 over here, click calculate. Area equals 4, perimeter equals 8. Let's try another number, such as 3.3. .3. Calculate. Area is equal to 10.89, parameter is equal to 13.2. Okay, it looks good, and as you can see, I've generated two lines of text. That's what that VB new line does. It's in essence uh, simulating pressing the enter key on your keyboard. And that's it. Okay, so this is Professor Robert Solis. I hope this video lesson was helpful. Have a good day. See you next time.